luxurious life in many ways. Probably better than most kings in the past, even present. And I've also lived in squalor, digging through dumpsters for bread, for food, for others, for myself, for the animals that sustain us. The uh, amazing thing in this life is how we all seek wisdom in one way, shape, or form. And this wisdom comes in many ways. I journey have reflected on the wisdom of the trees. We seek wisdom in centurions, people that have lived over a hundred years and ask them how they have achieved such longevity. And we neglect to speak to the trees or let the trees speak to us, maybe not in verbal form, but in uh, just the fact that we seek wisdom from a hundred year old people. Why would it not uh, suffice us to seek wisdom in those beings in existence or those life forms in existence that have survived here for thousands and not just survived but thrived here for thousands of years not just as a group but as individuals as well the lesson in the trees is many fold trees don't fight amongst each other they don't uh, put each other down. They provide homes, food, sustenance, mankind, other animals. They do so without complaining. They do so gratefully if we do so in return. And as we uh, cohabitate and share this world with these trees, we have a, an existence that can be mutually beneficial. In Japan, there's a group that harvests trees sustainably without killing the entire tree. They top the tree, harvest that lumber, use that lumber for their own needs, and allow the tree to continue to grow, move on to the next, top it, and do so in a, a cyclical manner that uh, doesn't allow the tree to die, but the tree still provides lumber. still allowed to live and provide the sustenance that it does. Oxygen, air that we breathe, homes for animals, food, it keeps the ground, water filtered, air filtered. When we seek wisdom, it's often a, a good idea least in my experience, to seek wisdom beyond just that of mankind, but in all of God's creations. And to be humble and do the best we can. We're in a time that's uh, definitely confusing. I think there's never been a time that uh, hasn't been somewhat confusing to some people. a moment and uh, find the grace of God in everything, this entire earth, every grain of sand, every molecule of air, every living creature, not Buddhist, not Christian, not as a, a label, but as a, a being created Earth, sharing it with uh, all life forms. The more cohesive.
piece of make this. I believe the more we will learn from our journeys, the longer our lives we will have, the more valuable our lives will become of service. step of the way. And there's grace in that.